One of Qatar's outstanding mega projects is the Doha Shark Crossing, often recognized as the most beautiful bridge in the Middle East. Do you wish to be informed of all the specifics? If yes, watch the entire video and then subscribe for more. The blueprint for the Shark Crossing, formerly known as the Doha Bay Crossing, was developed at the suggestion of the Ministry of Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning and was designed by the renowned Spanish architect Santiago Calatrava. Well, let me start by saying that it highlights a unique range of innovative civil engineering solutions and really iconic designs. Yeah, bridge, which has a series of above ground bends and below ground sitting areas, will undoubtedly provide drivers one of the most stunning experiences imaginable. The most impressive journey will be along the shore crossing with its linking bridges and Doha Bay. The government of Qatar is keen for the massive project to finally begin. A chick Spanish architect and engineer first exhibited this idea back in 2011. As I've already mentioned, the grand idea for this massive bridge originally had the name Doho Bay Crossing, but the project is now known as Shark Crossing. The budget proposal for 2020 from the Emirate of Qatar includes the whole cost of its development. It is mentioned that the decision to approve this multi-billion dollar project shows that the country believes in its long-term growth, especially since local construction companies will be tasked with obtaining new ventures as a result. Additionally, the project is expected to create thousands of new employment, both directly and indirectly. Did I mention that this massive project is for the World Cup infrastructure developments in 2022? However, the program's approval must be seen in light of Qatar's role as the 2022 FIFA World Cup host nation. It is debatable if the massive infrastructure project will be finished by then. The billion dollar short crossing project will consist of three interconnected fractions via an underwater tunnel as prescribed in the initial draft, but the construction is expected to be finished in four years, which is not exactly a detailed announcement because, as you know, many factors will prevent its construction. The lengths of the three angular crossing bridges will range from 601,310 meters. They will discuss Quor, a cultural hamlet in the north of the city, and the West Bay Financial District in relation to Doha's Hamad International Airport. The national budget of Qatar includes 90 billion Qatar Rials, or roughly your 21.2 billion, set aside for major projects. What additional commercial estimates are there for this project? Shah's crossing costs were estimated at 12 billion US dollars by the Middle East's leading business intelligence agency, or MISTI. The landmark group, according to government diplomats, was built to reshape Doha's skyline. Unexpectedly, 6,000 cars per hour are predicted to be able to use and travel through a lengthy, steep crossing. This will provide commuters with a less complicated route and lessen the burden on the Corniche Beachfront Road, which would be improved and widened. Do you wish to learn more about its layout? Let's talk about that as well then. The Ministry of Municipality and Urban Planning of Qatar approved Calatrava's iconic design proposals, which deviated from the tunnel. Only explanation that was first offered for this vital transportation connection. Each bridge is connected to the vehicle network by a brief tunnel underpass that is beneath the coastal road rather than a variant at each of the three variants of the tunnel network. According to the blueprints, the bridges start out close to the coast before curving underwater to connect with a significant road tunnel. This gives each bridge the ability to continue as a unique sculpture with its own personality as a sort of response to the skyline of the nearby metropolis. How far away is it exactly? The overall life of the three bridges and two tunnels is around 12 kilometers long. While it appears in accordance with experts at the building firm Tunnel Engineering Consultants or T's that aid in undertaking preparation, as a challenging subterranean crossing, the marine interchange is particularly interesting. The most challenging component, the West Bay Bridge, would connect the coast through a marine interchange and feature the largest arch range in the world. The tunnel extensions have been maintained short to minimize the cross-section and excavation supplies. This is in line with Burro Calatrava's architectural style. Furthermore, by using relatively simple mechanical networks, particularly for ventilation and smoke extraction, the long-term monitoring responsibility is reduced to a minimum. Let's now discuss the two islands we previously stated. 
The roadway creates islands whenever it ascends and descends repeatedly while being surrounded by water. The eastern island has been enlarged to form a kind of belvedere with two elevated levels and roofs, providing space for a marina and a number of leisure activities. Allow me to fill you in on every specifics. The dual-level Westgate Bridge will have platforms for parks and entertainment parks. Visitors can choose to walk along the glass walkway that resembles a park or take a funicular cable car across the bridge to admire the breathtaking view from a private observation chamber 125 meters above sea level, right? It sounds really fantastic. Just picture yourself and your special someone enjoying the most breathtaking sunset. You've probably already envisioned Shark Bridge, the subject of its name, don't you think? As a tubular structure that extends the inlet next to Doha's new airport, the all-around project is imagined. As a result, visitors to the city may take in an outstanding first look at the skyline of downtown Doha. One essential component of the project for Kalatrava's conservation effort was the preservation of the detailed coastline region in the Doha neighborhood as a whole. It is not problematic. The tidy white arrangement with its ornate pathways and slim design was unquestionably impressive. However, several experts recognize that there is still uncertainty around the project. The fact is that portions of the road that cross close tunnels and over bridges, as well as those that travel above and below water, may be to blame for flooding. Additional technical and design justifications would be required. Let's hear what Calatrava had to say about how design for public works helps the community and humanizes the natural landscape. For your information, the Shark Crossing Project for Doha is a fantastic opportunity to create an outstanding and imposing piece of public art. Santiago Calatrava is a well-known Spanish architect and engineer who is recognized for his stadiums, railroad stations, and bridges supported by a single leaning pylon. His sculptures have a highly distinctive design aesthetic and seem like living things. This is the reason why the Calatrava downsized crossing design is so captivating and different from other infrastructure. Let's hear what the Qatari Public Works Authority president has to say about this crossing. In addition to adding a crucial new route to Doha's current road system, the Shark Crossing is a technical marvel that will become a symbol for Qatar and be instantly recognizable throughout the globe. I want to let you know that Ashgal, a public works authority, was founded precisely 10 years ago to plan, design, secure, and construct Qatar's infrastructure and public construction endeavors. The inevitable has started to occur. Doha has started prioritizing the tasks it has to do in order to host the 2020 to FIFA World Cup and has begun delaying non-essential infrastructure plans. It's possible that the action was first viewed negatively. However, when Qatari endeavors resume their upward trajectory in 2015, this development should be viewed as a good, you know, understand why the bridge is regarded as one of Qatar's most important infrastructure projects and is considered to be a key hub for the nation's main highway. One more thing regarding this enormous endeavor, please. Numerous routes between Ras Abu Dhabi Stadium and Marseille Stadium and Marseille Stadium will be connected by the acute crossover. This will make getting to Qatar quite simple. That demonstrates how crucial this bridge is, right? There you have it for today. Why do you believe of it? Please provide your feedback in the box below. Click on these videos to watch about other amazing projects.